One of the obvious great things about the Nintendo Switch is the ability to use it in portable mode. In fact, Nintendo has even published statistics before talking about how half their user base regularly uses it in portable more than docked. And I'm one of them. I really like using it as a handheld more than a home system. But whenever you're using a portable system, there's one big issue you always run into, and that's battery life. Which, with the Switch, can be a lot more annoying than I think a lot of people realize. Because sure, you could carry around the AC adapter and plug it into any outlet you can find, but that isn't always an option. And the Switch, when it comes to charging, is a little more fickle than a lot of other electronic devices. And so while you can use some third-party solutions and battery banks, it doesn't always charge as quickly as it should. Thankfully, the accessory market for the Switch has been booming, and along with that, we are now seeing officially licensed and marketed batteries specifically for the Nintendo Switch. And this is one of the first, oh, hey, the one we have right here comes from Anchor. Now, they actually have two different models of this. This is the smaller one you can grab, and these are designed to specifically work with the way the Switch receives a charge in order to give it the fastest charge possible while still giving you a high capacity. Now, before we dive in depth on this guy, something I want to talk about really quick is whenever we talk about charging solutions for the Nintendo Switch, I get a lot of people asking questions about whether or not using something like this is going to cause any damage to their system or possibly even brick it. And the reason why people are worried about this is because back in March when Nintendo released their 5.0 update for the Switch, it caused a lot of systems that were using third-party docks to brick. Now, since that has happened, a lot of people are worried about anything that supplies any kind of power to the Switch, but the fact of the matter is, is that that particular issue is really only tied to when the Switch is being used in a dock mode. There has been no discovered problems when using battery banks or any other kind of charging solution. If you're just using it as a portable, you're fine. When it comes to docks, though, right now, you want to stick with official Nintendo docks. Now, there has been some news from Nintendo saying that you should also be careful about what kind of charge cables you use, but as long as you use the kind of chargers that come with the Nintendo Switch or any cables that are supplied with officially licensed and branded Nintendo stuff, you're gonna be fine. Anyways, back to this guy right here. So like I said, this one is officially licensed by Nintendo, so it's safe to use, and it's made by Anchor. Now, part of the idea is, like I said, it is optimized to charge as quickly as possible with the Switch, but these are also just high quality, high capacity batteries. This one in particular is their smaller design. It carries, uh, I believe, 13,400 milliamp hours, which on the Switch translates to about 1.7 charges. So it's not gonna give you two full extra charges, but close. They do make another design that's more elongated shape, and that one is a much higher capacity at 20K100. That one's basically two and a half extra charges. So it's gonna give you over three times the battery life. And of course, on top of working really well with the Switch, it does have actual Nintendo Switch branding on it, so if you have your whole collection of accessories, this is gonna fit right in. And while it is designed to be optimized with the Switch, you can still use it with anything else that you wanna charge with a portable battery bank, whether that's your phone, other portable gaming devices, whatever, this is still gonna work for all those just fine. Now, of course, all this stuff sounds awesome on paper, but let's actually give this thing a try. We've got a dead switch back here right now, so we're gonna go ahead and hook this guy up and see how much of the battery we're able to charge in the next hour. So after charging the switch with this thing for an hour, we got it to 43%, basically meaning that in about two and a half hours we can get a full charge, putting it on par with other Nintendo stuff, making it an awesome option for charging on the go. Top that off with its awesome build quality, portability, and this is a must-have accessory for any Switch owner. Now, right now, you cannot get these on Amazon. They're only available on Anchor's website, and even then, it's just a pre-order system, so we're gonna put that down below in the link for you guys to check out, and I'll see you later.